it's Ty Bug and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So just a few like housekeeping things before we get started. I will not be wearing makeup today. I know I'm going to be reviewing makeup, which kind of seems like counterintuitive, but my skin has been really inflamed recently. Um, it may be a little bit blurred due to like my camera helping me out a little bit, but it's just, it's really bad. So I've been trying not to wear makeup for a couple of days now. I was doing a 31 days of Halloween, um, sort of like makeup challenge on my TikTok and I've been wearing makeup every single day and I usually don't do that. So I don't know if there's like a new product I'm using that's making my skin act up or if it's a skincare product. I don't know what it is, but I've just been kind of like cutting everything out right now. So that's why I will not be wearing makeup. And also it's not a bad thing to have acne. It's like completely normal. Teenager, adult, doesn't matter. Acne is part of the human condition. So I know I'll probably be like a little bit self-conscious when I'm editing this or trying to upload it, but I'm going to stay strong. Okay, yeah. And also if you're a returning viewer and you're not already, please make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Yeah. So today we are going to be reviewing She Glam. I um, actually have not heard a lot about this brand. I think the most I've heard about this brand is like this blush here that I'm going to be talking about. But first, I'm going to be talking about the Corpse Bride collection. I saw this on my Instagram. I think it was like one of those like uh, trend sort of scouts where they're like, this is the new makeup stuff coming out. And I saw they had a Corpse Bride collection. I was like, oh my god, I love Corpse Bride. And every single time there's been like a collection with like Tim Burton, so like Corpse Bride, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, Frank and Weenie, I don't know. Has there been a Frank and Weenie collaboration? Maybe. But every time I see like a collaboration, so many times I'm like, ah, uh, I mean, they kind of just put an image on the packaging and that's it. But then I saw this and I was like, that's actually, actually, really like that and originally I was just gonna get like a couple of products but then I saw that everything was very reasonably priced and like to get the entire collection was like 40 something dollars it was very good I don't know if it'll still be available by the time I'm uploading this I'm very sorry if it's not because I have had this for a while but I just haven't gotten around to filming so if anything maybe I'll come back next year <laughs> so yes so this is the box it came in this nice packaging and then I just take that off and let me take the bottom off when I first got this I had opened it upside down and like most of the products kind of fell out so hopefully everything's okay so this is the box it kind of looks like a chocolate box because um, we have like Big Island candies here and like this is sort of like the box they put it in like with a brown brown box and a green bow and it kind of like has some detailing on it so like some some wear and tear and then it has the the collection name up here it's a very nice box and I it doesn't tie the box closed I like that because then I would have to undo the bow and then by redoing the bow it wouldn't look good the same anymore and then it also says um everything that comes in this box right here it's kind of blocked by the the ribbon but it's okay so yes so we open it up first so this is what's on the inside of the box hopefully everything doesn't fall out it has a nice little informational card i'm gonna put this up on my wall i love putting things up like this on my wall so it says Inspired by the iconic film Corpse Bride, She Glam reveals a moody new collection featuring five must-have products for every film fan's beauty arsenal. Get an underworld ready look in our moonlight palette and top it off with our glimmering ghostly glitter gel. Say I do to a highlighter with an ether ethereal or ethereal glow and a unique lip products you'll want to wear forever and ever and ever. Cute. So it says this is the Moonlight Eyeshadow Palette, Ghostly Glitter Gel, Beaming Butterfly Highlighter, Everlasting Love Liquid Lipstick, and Ethereal Glow Lip Balm. So that's all that's going to be in this box. So I'm just going to get right into it. And I think there are two layers in this box. So first, we have this little, I think this is the, ch the balm. This is the Glow Lip Balm. So um, I'm going to see if we can get it to focus. It has the Corpse Bride writing on it and some little decorations. 
And then it also has this ring that is detachable. Oh wait, left hand. I do, I'm gonna wear this. It's not like an amazing ring or anything. It's just like, you know, little accessory. It doesn't fit though, but oh well. Okay, and this is called, Can the Living Marry the Dead? Ooh. It doesn't smell good, but that's okay. And it's like this clear blue sort of look. Nitchy. The blue doesn't really show up, but. This was actually the thing that sold me on this, this whole collection is all like, I like that. I was like, that looks so cool. I love it. It doesn't really feel like a lip balm, to be honest. And it doesn't taste good. And it smells kind of chemically. But it's like a, you know, like something you would put on before you put lipstick on. Because you don't want something like too moisturizing under lipstick or the lipstick's going to kind of like slip around. So it's something kind of like that. Then let's look at this. The Moon Moonlight Eyeshadow Palette. I love this packaging a lot. It's a little bit glittery. It has the two. It has Emily and Victor. And Victor. It has them in them. And then the little, um, the little moths. These look like butterflies. It's supposed to be moths. But that's kind of like a, an overarching theme is the, the black and blue, the glitter, and the, the moths. If I can open this. This side isn't taped, so. I don't want to ruin the box. I mean, I'll probably get rid of the box anyways because it doesn't make sense to keep it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's the lighting. Let me... Ta-da, look at it. It's all, it's lace with the corpse bride. That is so cool. That's nice. And oh, and we have a mirror inside. Always good to have a mirror. Has a little protector. These shades are definitely like deathly shades. We have a lot of grays, a lot of like, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six matte shades. So we have these browns, these two browns, these two grays, a navy blue, a, a black with some white in it. Then we have, I think these are all shimmer shades. I don't think any of them are glitter. But we have white, dark gray, silver, purple. This kind of, these two have reflex in it, blue reflex in it. So like this is a gray with a blue reflect and this is a black with a blue reflect. I will swatch those in just a second. I'm going to go over all the products before I like do swatches or anything. So that's that. I can taste the chapstick. It does not like. Then we have the, uh, ghostly, ghost, ghostly, ghostly glitter gels if I can get them out. They're well secured in there. Ooh, ooh. Okay, first one, this is the shade Tears to Shed. Does it have a protector on it? Okay, it does have a little protector on it. So this is a, a white silver. It focuses on my hands more than the product. It's pretty chunky. Sometimes when I think about, you know, the pricing of all of this, I get a little bit worried about what is in the product, like what what makes them able to sell it at that such a low price. So I think a lot of this may just be like a collector's item, like not something you necessarily use. I'm gonna see, but I think I'm definitely not gonna be putting this on my inflamed skin right now. I'll probably have a, a linked video of when I actually put stuff on my face. I'll be swatching everything on like my arms and stuff. So that is the shade Tears to Shed. I forgot my ring. Can't forget the ring. Can never separate. Blue, bouquet. Oh, like bouquet. Bouquet? Bouquet. Bouquet? Bouquet? Bouquet, is that what I was trying to say? So this is a shiny blue. Nice, nice. This one isn't as chunky. This one looks more smooth. I like that more than the chunky look, if I do say so myself. Oh, look at my bow. 
I have a bow in my hair. I feel so cute. Okay, and this one is Underworld. Hello. There we go. And this is a gray sparkle. So that's the theme here is white, blue, and gray. You know, white for the bride, gray for the death, blue for Emily. Whenever I think of the movie, I usually don't remember that her name is Emily. It just doesn't seem like the right name for her. It do just doesn't work for me. Okay, then in the second layer, so I just took off the first layer here. That's where everything was in here. Then in the second layer, we have the lipsticks, the eyelashes, and the highlighter. Ta-da! Hopefully it didn't break. Ta-da! So let's look at the eyelashes. These are gorgeous lashes. Has some loose little loose lashes, but that's okay. So these are the lashes. Quite long. It's hard to see with the packaging. But they're in there. They're kind of like spider-like. And very dramatic. Then we have the Corpse Bride Beaming Butterfly Highlighter. I guess that's the name of it, Beaming Butterfly. Ooh, I like this. It's holographic, so we got Emily and the Moths. Emily and the Moths, Emily and the Moths. And ooh, it is a white highlighter with blue reflex. And it has um, butterflies embossed in it. They should have embossed moths. Why did they emboss butterflies? Maybe they already had like a butterfly embossment sort of shape or whatever. And they're like, ah, butterflies are close enough to moths. Not really, not really, but it's okay. And they have, they actually have the sort of like the movie cover on the inside here, which I like. Because usually I would get rid of all the packaging, but like the packaging is a, such a big part of this whole collection is like what makes it a collector's item is the packaging. So when, you know, like if you get rid of the box and there's nothing on the packaging to kind of like indicate that it's part of the Corpse Bride collection or something, then it's kind of like, what was the point? <laughs> what was the reason? Was that too aggressive? Okay, and then these are liquid lips. This is called rosy cheeks it is a nice mauve pink i'm not going to smell it i feel like it's not going to smell that great and it is in a matte packaging that fades into the color down here i think this might be clear and it has um the corpse bride logo on it some glitter and butterflies not moths and some like vines down the side so that's the mauve sort of pink. Then we have Beating Heart. I'm guessing this is the red. Yep, this is the red. Oh, this actually smells okay. It kind of smells like... I used to have these bath bombs. They were like pretty old bath bombs. So like before a Lush bath bombs. That was like sort of like what the smell used to be for the those sorts of bath bombs. And then last, but not least, we have Emily. And this is uh this is like a coral shade. It's not exactly the shade I thought it was going to be. Maybe I mean it's, it's more orange than pink. But anyways, let's get to the swatches. So I'm gonna do the swatches backwards. So the things we saw most recently, we're gonna see first. Uh-oh, I can't get the ring back onto here. It's forever. There we go. It looks good all together. This is completely ruined because of the smell. It smells like a hardware store. Like, this was the thing I was most excited about. It's the thing that sold me. Maybe I should have put it on my hands before I put it on my lips. I mean, my lips feel moisturized. It's just, they couldn't put a scent in this at all. They're like, yeah, no, no, no. You know, the thing you might use the most, the chapstick, the balm. 
don't don't put a scent on it let it have the artificial warehouse scent Ugh. how rude okay let's get down to business to defeat uh, uh, the huns rosy cheeks Okay, yeah, they all have that same sort of like bath bomb smell. So that's, that's that. This is, I think this is beating heart. It is beating heart. I'm smart. These are quite creamy. They're like, how do I describe this? It's hard to describe it when it is on your lips. Okay. Scratch the creamy part. It's like watery. So it kind of reminds me of like, um, like Korean lip tints instead of like a liquid lipstick, if that makes sense. And then this is Emily. Yeah, that's a coral shade. That's not pink. Was it ever described as pink? I don't think so. Lip color is everlasting as your love. These liquid lipsticks feature super saturated colors with a velvet matte finish for all day stay and lip loving ingredients that nourish and moisturize. In other words, they bring your lips back to life. Emily. Why have you forsaken me, Emily? Okay, then lashes, you don't swatch lashes. Back in the box. Okay, oh, I put this back in the box. Why would I do that? Nice and smooth. The embossment is staying on. We got it on the finger. And, oh, that is gorgeous. In the packaging, it looks more like a blue sort of reflect, but on my arm, it looks sort of purple. I think I have to turn the lighting down a little bit can't it doesn't really show up that well on camera but in person it is gorgeous i obsess over my fenty highlight a lot the glitter the glitter kilowatt kilo kilowatt glitter bomb i think it's called and this is like a much cheaper version of that but like it's more the glitter bomb mostly just shows like wetness and like the the individual specs but this is like has a little bit more coverage to it so it has more of that white sort of under sparkle and the and the the reflecting over sparkle what <laughs> it makes sense in the brain okay next let's <laughs> that's embarrassing Ty why would you say it like that I didn't know how to describe it because it's not like it's an opaque undertone and it's not like it makes you ashy. Maybe this would make me ashy on my cheeks, but it would be beautiful on the eyes. I think so. This is Underworld. Okay. So it's squishy. I like that. I can press my finger into it. It's quite pigmented. Ooh, we got that. That's more of a white glitter. So the black under, the black under glitter and the white top glitter. That's really how I'm going to describe it because I can't think of anything else. But it's very squishy and it, this doesn't feel wet on the fingers or on here. I don't know how like the chunky one is going to look. The chunky one may have just gone bad, to be honest. To be honest. Let's look at the next one. This blue one is Bluket. Bluket. Same squishy. I love that. I <laughs> okay. There's the blue on the hand. These aren't very opaque. They're kind of more like toppers, if that makes sense. Like, they're almost like glitter toppers with just like a, a tiny hint of a pigment. Okay, we got it on the lid here. The pinky swatch. Oh, that's wet. I don't like that. 
it feels like porridge it's like wet and cold and it it you know it's just glittery oh but it's really bright <laughs> do we hold on i need to lower the the brightness so you can see how oh my hands are full of stuff huh, huh. look at that look at the glitter on this one that's the silver one these two pale in comparison to that one so maybe the chunk chunk is where it's at and the other ones maybe they've dried dried down too much that was tears to shed i'm still a little bit upset about the butterflies though like why would you choose butterflies when you know it's moths this this is a moth why couldn't they have just I guess when you don't see the details of it, a moth would look like a butterfly. I guess I could see. I mean, they they look like they look like butterflies though. I feel like there's there must have been something they could have done to make it seem more like a moth. I don't believe that they couldn't have thought of something else. I'm gonna go top. Okay, so. Ooh. These are so smooth. They're a little bit like squishy almost. Ooh, that gray is good. That's a good gray. Okay. That doesn't show up on me. That would be like a beige shade. Holy moly. That's nice. Look at how bright that white is. Jeez Louise. They got that down. Uh, it does smell though. I don't know, maybe that's where they could lower the prices by not masking the smell. I didn't think I was sensitive to smell, but like when it doesn't have a smell and it just smells straight up like warehouse makeup, then I'm sensitive to smell. Okay, next row. Nice. Ooh, I thought that was gonna be a uh, purple. How my eyes deceived me. In certain angles it looks purple, but maybe it's a purple blue reflect? Or shift, color shift? Wah. Wah, wah. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Navy blues I've seen are always quite hard to get pigmented. These two look awfully similar to me. Let's get a little close up there. See these two? Don't they look kind of the same? I I don't know what to tell you. Okay, next row. Then I have four other products to talk about that are just part of the regular She Glam line. Next row. Ooh, that's a nice, nice silver. A darker sort of brown corpse look. Another gray. And the black white. Oh, the white just goes away. Okay, bye little skull. I'll miss you. Ta-da. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. Ooh, that's a good black. They, oh, how do I show this? It's these ones right here. Oh, these ones. Those are good. Those are good. Very nice. Yes, I do think this is a Corpse Bride palette. 
I mean, a lot of the shades are quite similar, but that's kind of because it's a dead palette and it's supposed, it's not like supposed to be like an every, a multi-use palette. It's just supposed to be like, this is the Corpse Bride palette. Doesn't gotta be anything else other than that. I know sometimes you'll look at something and think, what is the functionality of this? What will I use it for other than for like Corpse Bride makeup or just like Halloween makeup? And sometimes you don't need to think about that. Sometimes that doesn't matter. Sometimes all you need to mat, all you need to think about is, does this look cool? And yes, sir, it does. Yes, sir, it does look cool. Okay, I put away. Oh, and I get phone call. I'll be right back. Let's continue. So next, these are on sale. They are the Chromazone Multi-Chrome Gel Liner. I got two of them. Um, one of them, where are the shades? We have Zenith and Vertigo, and their little tagline is, it's a fact, our gel liners just hit different, like literally. Although they may apply to your lids as one color, the shades shift depending on how the light hits. Magic? Nope. Just multi-chrome. Nice, nice, nice. Relating to the youth. <laughs> okay, this is Zenith. And Zenith, ladies and gentlemen, is I don't know. I don't know what shades this is supposed to be. So I got the, the, the gel on one side. And I think this like, okay, this is like a little smudger. So I guess let's, let's go. So I think this is purple blue. It looks kind of green to me. Does it reflect? I don't see the shift. I see it a little bit. It just kind of looks like a, a gray, to be honest. Maybe that's why these were on sale. Does it? Oh, the sharpener on the end too. Cool. Does it smudge? Did I wait too long? Well, it doesn't doesn't budge. I guess that's kind of good, but why would they add a smudge to it if it doesn't smudge? The world may never know. Vertigo. Got the same setup. This one looks more purple. We got the sharpener and the smudger. Let's, let's get into it. Ooh, this one's more creamy. Oh, I see, it. oh! So I see green when it's that way, and then like pur pink, purple. I'll show, I'll show. Huh. Okay, look, we got it. Look away from my face. Is it doing it? Is it showing? Well, I mean, for what they, what I got them for, it's not bad. This is the, the She Glam Freck Please Freckle Tint. Freck Please. It is. Okay, let's, let's read the tagline. How to look like you just got back from the beach vacay even though you didn't? Well, that's easy. Our smudge and waterproof freckle tint dials in those sun-kissed, refreshed vibes. No flight required. Available in three neutral shades, medium and dark, plus blue and purple for an unexpected splash of color. How to use dot, copy, paste. Freck, please. Create a small cluster dos, d dots on your cheeks and or nose. Copy by gently pressing your fingertips and paste across your skin by with the friends. Cool. I mean, I don't need to get on a plane to go to the beach. I just need to go like 15 minutes away. Ooh, this is a nice package. It's got some weight to it. Feels a little meta metal. Very sleek. Ooh, look at how how small the tip is. <gasps> look 
Okay. I'm making freckles on my arm. Okay, let's see if I can copy and paste. Let's see if I can copy and paste. Okay, there are the freckles. Is it copying and pasting? Not really. I got it over there. But look it. I think I got the right shade for my face. I love freckles. I've been making a lot of freckles white though because that's easy. Cute. And it doesn't smudge once it's dry. Amazing. What is with the voice? I feel like I, I'm like a, a newscaster. You know, when somebody comes on to present their product, they're like, oh, amazing. <laughs> and there's like no one there to applaud. And you're like, uh-huh. Okay. Okay, grandma. And to end of the haul, we have the She Glam Color Bloom Day Glow Liquid Blush. And I got the shade Love Cake. Oh, also the, the freckle shade I got is Dark Chocolate. Okay, so this reminds me of like this lipstick product that I was really into for a while. It was, I think it was a Lancome Lins lipstick. And it was like a shaker lipstick and had like the same little same little puff on it and I love that lipstick I got like three of them anyways so this is it nice packaging this feels more plastic compared to this one metal and love cake good name we got the puff and you just kind of like shake it to get the the color on here so that's what that looks like let's see how it looks on this side of my arm because this side is lighter than this side. So, here we go. Ew. Okay, and let's, can we blend it? Can we blend out the blush? That is a gorgeous shade. That's a gorgeous shade. Do I have to turn, I'm gonna turn down the brightness a little bit. Oh, oh not all the way off. Look at, look at, this is it blended out. It's so pretty. I'm so glad I got this color. I always I always tend to get either a coral color or a berry color and I usually avoid pink colors because I've just kind of realized they don't show up that well on my skin. But with liquid blushes, not so much a concern. Oh, and it comes off. Yes, it moves easily. You know, some things were hit and miss. I don't really know how I feel about the chroma liners. I understand why I got them for like a dollar. I like the freckles, I like this. I can't wait to try it on my face. Hopefully it doesn't do anything. Um, I'm disappointed with the chapstick because it smells like a, 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 not good. Um, the palettes, the palette was very nice. I like the palette a lot. The highlighter, love it. The lipsticks, I don't think it's anything like special. It's, you know, it's more just like the packaging for the lipsticks here. It's like. Carb spread, yay! Um, but it's really just like basic sort of colors and basic sort of formula. And then the the gel sort sort of glitter. I, I I don't really feel have any feelings about it. I more like the packaging. The the white one though was pretty cool. That one was bright. Well, what else did I? What else is in here? Uh, I guess we have the lashes. I mean, the lashes. It's not anything special. But, you know, if you're a Corpse Bride fan, this is definitely worth it. I mean, the price? That was such a good price. And, you know, the products aren't disappointing. For people who want to do makeup but just can't afford makeup, this is a very good option. Um, I I don't have a Dollar Tree here. I We don't have like dollar stores here. So t this would be like the sort of makeup I would have to order if I wanted like sort of Dollar Tree prices, I think. Because we don't have them here. The cheapest place we can get like makeup is like Longs or something. So this is like, I think very good. I know that like some Dollar Tree makeup is like 
not good at all. So like, if you had to choose between that and this, I would definitely choose this because it's a good price and it's a pretty good product. Uh, I can't speak for how it performs on the face because just right now I know anything that I put on my face is just gonna, I'm gonna have a reaction to it and it might not necessarily be the products causing the reaction, it might just be how irritated my skin is right now so I don't want to like give a false review on like oh my god it broke me out because I'm already breaking out <laughs> but yes so that is all the makeup I have for you guys today I will have a, the she glam website down below this is not sponsored I bought all of this with my own money so yeah if you guys have any questions if there is a certain look you guys want me to try with all of this let me know I'm thinking I'm going to do like a moth a moth makeup look with this maybe I will have that linked if it's uh if, I'll link it once it's done okay if it's not linked up there it's not done if it is it's done so that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed make sure to like comment subscribe check out my other social medias and I'll see you guys next time love you bye